The controversy surrounding the legality to occupy the governor's seat has lasted for at least seven months. Mapakai's argument is that under Section 103 of the Constitution, Kavo is only a member of parliament and clearly not a governor. He said though Kavo is out on bail, the court decision is still in effect and his status as prisoner of the state remains until determined otherwise by the higher court. Under the organic law, when you are jailed for more than nine months, you deem to have vacated the office under Section 20. Uh, tree of the organic law. Governor Kavo was convicted of misappropriating government funds allocated to Gulf Provincial Administration last November, but still holds the office today. He was sent to Bomana Prison, but is out on bail. The justice letter here also confirming that he's a, he's a convicted prisoner of state. He cannot off, or, or, uh, hold public office. In February, the Attorney General Anopala wrote a letter to convicted Governor Kavo, informing him that he was wrongly advised by his lawyers. Pala stated in the letter that Kavo's current status is that he is a convicted person and a prisoner of the state, but upon his bail, his lawyers failed to explain clearly to him his status. On Tuesday, when responding to questions asked by Kikori MP, Deputy Prime Minister Leo Dion said a major gas project will be conducted in Gulf and it is in the interest of the people that Gulf leaders put away their political interests and concentrate on delivering services to their people. However, Mabakai wants Kavo and his legal team to concentrate on Kavo's appeal and refrain from causing confusion for the Gulf people. Taklagunga National MTV News.